Hello everybody, welcome to Digital Cartooning, Creating a Holiday Comic. Really excited to, uh, to bring this workshop to you guys. So this is the Creator Space. My name is Tom Stranat, I'm a lead digital artist and we have the extremely talented and, uh, and, and cartoonist, our local cartoonist, animator, illustrator, Jeff Wilson. He's gonna take us through this uh, Digital Cartooning, Creating a Holiday Comic. So really uh, glad to be able to bring this to you guys. And uh, you know, there's a bit of snow still here in our area. It's kind of melting. Um, there has been a little bit of power flickering, so just bear with us if anything goes out, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep going as best we can. So, uh, and the good news is you can rewatch this right after, so feel free to rewatch, and in case you have any internet issues, you can always rewatch it, and, uh, you know, just relax, uh, enjoy, and you can go over all these pointers after if you're, or, or uh, draw along with Jeff as we go. Just want to uh, thank all our partners in this project. We have the Canada Council for the Arts, and we have our library partners, Blue Mounds Public Library, Collingwood Public Library, Wasaga Beach Public Library, and uh, in terms of equipment, you can access uh, iPads with Procreate. That's the software we're using. So we're using this uh, Procreate software that's available for iPads, iPhones, and we've loaded it on some of the iPads. So Blue Mountains Public Library and the uh, Collingwood Public Library, you have iPads through technology loans. You can go and take them out. Otherwise, it's a low-cost app, about uh, 15 bucks. You can buy it and then uh, and work along or use your own app if you have another preferred one. So it's all good. Okay, so uh, without any further ado, let me uh, pass it over to Jeff. Here is Jeff. Okay, thank you again, Tom, and thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. I hope you're uh, having a good morning so far, and I, uh, it's certainly a lot of strange weather here with the wind and the, the higher temperatures. It's uh, melting a lot of the snow, and again, uh, please do bear with us if we have a few brownouts. Uh, I live in a, you know, fairly, not remote, but, uh, you know, and not a um, really heavy area uh, with the a lot of great uh, access to internet. It's, it's very good, but anyway, it's not perfect and we'll just try to get through it. Anyway, uh, we're designing a holiday comic today and uh, comics, of course, um, if you're, if you've been into comics, I've been in for a long time. Uh, you need to have a, a source of your ideas. Um, I don't know if I've uh, mentioned this before, but a lot of the source of the ideas is uh, past experiences. So um, if you, if you recall past holidays, past adventures and in, in holidays and past experiences, that is always a good, um, a good fodder for your, for your writing. And, and of course, writing is probably over 50% of your product. If you're designing comics, you've got to be able to uh, write what people will read and, um, and, and that comes over time. You begin to develop a, uh, an ability to know what, uh, what people like, what they you know, what they'll resonate with. And, and you would be surprised that uh, people will uh, usually connect with some of those very personal things that you experienced in your life. So I, I think with the holiday time, um, there's not too many more experiences in, in a year in our lives that we uh, have special memories of other than the holidays, uh, holiday time. It's a special time, gift giving and um, good, good cheer and visiting and, Good, you know, good. Uh, everybody gets along for a little while, and uh, or or if they don't, it's it's memorable because you're you know the the whole season is memorable. It's a unique time of the year, in in other words. So, um, so as I say, a good thing to fall back on, or not to fall back on, but to pull out of your memory is uh, good experiences, bad experiences, things that uh, um, personal things that that uh, other people will probably get more out of than you might realize, and and always. Never, um, never doubt that other people maybe have gone through something similar. Uh, today, I've uh, created a comic here. Uh, well, I've, I've done, designed a three three panel template here for uh, a three panel comic, which will be um, the holidays. Home for, for the, the, I've titled the feature "Home for the Holidays," so the characters will be named Holiday. And that's kind of a pun. So it, it, that's something we do in comics. We uh, we can do things like that, and, and it um, uh, it's been done many times over the years with varying degrees of success. But it's um, it's a fun thing. It's uh, you know opportunities like that are, are things that we can add to our to the interest level of our of our cartoon. So I've uh, as I say I've designed from a three panel comic. Let's just turn over there now. Let's see if I can get it on my on my visual here, folks. And uh, you can see it, I'm sure, on the uh, 
just turn it over here so we can have a good look at the screen. So I have, as you can see, I have the first uh, down, um, over at the Home for Holidays, the uh, title uh, for the comic. And at the end here, you could put your, your name, whatever, whatever your name is. This could be your comic. Uh, and what I have done is I've gone ahead and I've kind of roughed out a, a gag. Now, for writing the gags, you... Um, Again, as I say, there's all kinds of things with the holidays. There's, uh, um, there's gift giving, there's, um, there's families visiting. So there's lots going on. And, and when there's lots going on in your life, there's lots to pull in. Uh, the one thing I would say is um, make mental note of all those experiences, but don't let it take you out of it and don't don't run off to the to your uh, drawing room and say i've got a gag that i've got to finish off no the best thing to do is make a mental note of it uh keep it aside and then when you have a chance to be alone in your studio uh which um, hopefully you have a frequent amount of time to do that uh maybe not but if you, whatever time you have uh, you need to spend alone to focus on on refining the gag and to uh improving it of course and to uh, develop it into a comic strip. And then, of course, once you've got your gag written, then you do the drawing. So for this particular idea, I have uh, written a gag. And we have the holidays here. This is all roughed out in, in rough pencil. And the holidays are are going to take shape in maybe different forms. Here, the first panel, you see the, the person on the right side is g handing a gift to the person on the left, per on the left side. And uh, you can see they're very surprised. And the second panel, they're 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 surprised. This turned to delight, and and uh, they're holding the gift. And the person on the right now is is very proud of what they've they've given a gift to the person on the left. And then we have this last panel <laughs> with the person on the left, the receiver, looking inside the box, and uh, the person on the right with some explanation of it. So this. Um, yeah, this this will open up your your creative uh, your creative uh, juices, I hope, and, and get a creative flow going. And I'll uh, I'll show you in a minute what the gag is that I've written here. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone ahead. So I'll I'll just do it in reverse. This is um, going to be fun. It's uh, you said you said you needed your own space. They're looking in an empty box. You said you needed your own space. Okay, and. Uh, Okay, let's, this is writing the gag backwards. This is this is going to be fun, but but there's nothing in here but air. You said you needed your own space, <laughs> so not, that's all you really need is those two lines that tells a joke. But of course, we're doing a comic strip, so we're building up to it. So let's go to the build up here. Um, and I had just I was about to finish uh, writing this joke here. Uh, let's see, I can write it a little further here because yeah, this this was very much part of the process here to to tell the story so um so the the line here was thank you i can't wait to find out what it is and, and of course what i've done uh, is to uh create a um a text box and uh create the the balloon around it so um the text box you can do in if you go to your actions file and add text and it'll open a text box for you and you can create a new text box and uh we can um write the gag here so this is this is our our setup this is our first panel this is interesting to do this because uh, this is not the way you write a comic but uh, it's, it's interesting to show you in reverse because you, it helps you to learn the elements of uh, writing and drawing and, and how you're the left to right um, structure, the story structure, so that you're building from a setup, uh, a, 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 an orientation area where you're setting the gag up and then you're building it up into a punchline. So this doing it in reverse is a really helpful way to see that. Uh, here... The line is, I got you a gift. And uh, 
Happy Holidays. Which is coincidentally their name, the name of the of the folks in this comic. So now you can let's edit this comic here. I think uh, we go to here. We can click on that uh, that text we've highlighted. We can actually select all the text. Click on the Jack Armstrong BB, which is a font that I'm very fortunate to have here, and we'll go to the leading here, which and we'll go to nine point. And it's actually minus nine point. Click on that. That makes it minus nine point. And that will, and with our font, we have it a little bigger than I think I had it in the other panel. So what I do is click on that till that blue is highlighting the whole text. Make it 18 here. And uh, that is your text size here. That's in sync with the rest of the text here. And this is uh, how, how we do it. Move your window there. So let's go through it uh, in the correct order. I got you a gift. Happy holidays. Thank you. I can't wait to see what it is. There's nothing in here but air. You said you needed your own space. Okay, so we've got a nice little build up. Uh, we start with the gift giving. That's the, the opening panel, the next panel. You know, the, the anticipation is being built for what is what is inside the gift. I can't wait to find out. And then they find out what's in the gift, and it's nothing but air. And uh, the punchline, you said you needed your own space. So that's the, the, the very... Now, if, if we were just doing a single panel, if we could just go back here for a second, you could just use this panel, and that's, this would be your whole gag here. But, of course, the comic strip is all about the storytelling. It's um, uh, it's a it's all about building it from one one stage to the next, and it's um, and it's a timing. You develop timing to do that. Um, it's all about the anticipation, as I say. Um, so let's let's just take this a little further. We're going to clean up a bit of this uh, text here. Now, would the other thing here about the our couple. Our couple of folks here would, would one be would it be two people would it be two men would it be two women would it be a man or and a woman you could do um at this point we've just kind of roughed out the sketch uh we, we need to create our our characters uh it depends on the situation you're in it could be a brother and a sister or two brothers or the holidays could be anybody so you can create these characters into um whatever and whoever you like you could keep them as these kind of bowling ball head figures that, that i've done here or you could just adjust them a bit too we could create a um as i do the uh a new layer here and i would do like um an inking layer so i would uh, take because i like to just have nice full black um in with with the brush the uh and my favorite inking tool is the uh studio pen here and um, um, procreate and just to create a, a character so I, I could make this and you could make it two old men in a nursing home or two a man and a woman in a nursing home it, it has or people in an office setting or people in a, um, a church or a religious um, facility <laughs> or a hospital or any kind of setting it, it really has a lot of applicants here who are your characters where are they and, and uh but you know the main idea is gift giving okay so let's say these are just two a couple a married couple let's say and we'll give them a kind of a funny unique look here because uh oh that's the fun of comics you can do this sort of thing so we're going to Give this character big ears. Big nose. If you've ever seen comics by um, Mel Lazarus, the Miss Peach and, and Mama comics, who Mel, Mel uh, Lazarus was a very interesting cartoonist. He had uh, uh, a lot of... Uh, 
very popular cartoonist, but it took a long time to kind of get that popularity. I understand he, um, and this could be his, uh, this gent's lovely wife here. And he was the first cartoonist to be popular, even though he had um, characters with the nose, uh, big nose and the eyes on the one side of the nose. It took a lot of, uh, a long time for people to accept that. And uh, that poor Mel Lazarus had a, a hard time becoming popular, but he did eventually because the writing, again, the, maybe the, the drawings were not so wonderful, but, uh, or were not so well liked, but they were interesting. And, uh, he was very popular and I, I, uh, I haven't seen his work for a while. Of course, he's he's left left us now, but he uh, like so many great cartoons have. Um, so we can make our characters like this. Of course, the wrapping paper on the present. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to create other characters as we go along in the in the in the panels too, because we're going to show the different uh, things you can do in the comic. So we're going to add uh, a nice solid line here. Okay, so let's just take our... Uh, so we have like a Mel Lazarus type comic here, <laughs> a couple of married couple the uh, the the holidays. Oh, well, it wouldn't necessarily have to be that. So we could, uh, for this next panel, for example, we could redesign them somewhat. It could be, um, let's see, it could be aliens from outer space that that are on Earth and adapting to life on Earth, adapting to the traditions. So we could have. Um, Bulbous heads like an alien would. What, what you know, what, the, the stereotypes of aliens, anyway. That would be an interesting concept for a comic, you know, to have a aliens landing on earth and trying to learn the traditions of earth and I'll let you take that one away and see what you can do with that one. I think that would be a lot of fun. Again, we have the, uh, the gift here and the gift could stay the same as what we had in the previous uh, comic there, previous, previous uh, panel. And we'll just fill that out a bit there. Some, some of the suction cups on the end of the fingers and it's kind of neat have that so the gift will remain somewhat the same and we'll have a the big almond shaped eyes closed here nah. I think we're going to have to move that heart though because uh, oh, let's try it again the good thing about procreate hit that undo tool and it takes away many ugly messes that you've made and then there we go F finish that off thin neck thin arms and we'll move our little heart up here a, a little bit there and uh we'll, we'll take uh the next part will be this beautiful word balloon here that we're going to you just take it along. You can hold it and it'll straighten the line out. And we'll take it along and finish the rest of the arc here. I think I will just undo that whole thing. Yeah, you know why? Because I, uh, I want it to be a little more clean. I think that's a bit better. So let's do the same thing as we've done. In the previous panel here, we'll take away our um, line here. I think I wanted to do something a little more 
with this eyebrow here kind of show a little more emotion here with this character. Again, this, this could be, these could be aliens from another planet coming to Earth and learning the traditions of Earth. And, oh, there's this tradition of gift giving. So it could be fun. Could be a fun little concept for somebody. Certainly not me. And then, of course, we have our final panel here. And we could, let's do something else. Let's make them, um, what else could we think of? They could be, well, they could be kids in a, um, two, you know, brother, two brothers or two sisters. Let's make them two sisters um, at home. And they're, this is their gift exchange. Yeah, so we'll, again, we'll get that uh, right layer here. Yep, we've got it. So we'll make these two sisters here. And you see the one sister here is peering in the in the empty box. And well, this box is a little more tricky because it's open now. And uh, And kind of a oh caricature-ish way to look at it here. The, the give it a little of cartooniness here. Get this box clean that up a bit there. Get the perspective of a of a you know box top if it was opened on stuff. And this would be open, so we could show a little bit of shadow in here, too, to show that it's uh, open. And then, of course, uh, the girl's other arm here on the other side of the box, holding it up so that she can look through it. And I think a couple of shake lines, because she's obviously, let's make sure that this thing is really, really is empty. And I think we need to just... Uh, redo the shoulder here there we go that uh, that helps it to uh, give a little more sturdiness here and this could be her other sister and you notice i haven't done a whole lot of detail in the eyes i'm trying to keep it fairly cartoony looking and you know nice and sm smooth and uh, neat simple at this point you just want something pleasant to look at you don't need to have a whole lot of detail in your drawing and even mel lazarus was was an expert at that he he did have the unique look with the uh the eyes on the same side of the head or on the same side of the nose, etc. But he still did have a very, uh, uh, very simplistic look. And we'll do the same thing with these balloons. We'll just kind of clean them up as well. You know, I think I gave it way too much. Uh, because I don't think we have that much text there. I don't know why, what I was thinking. I don't always have the best uh, judgment when it comes to uh, the amount of text. I'm not liking that either. Just going to go a little closer to the to that uh, arc space. And we will take that down a bit. And we'll just create a little bit of a... Oops. Meant to do the eraser tool here at the very top uh, right side. Oop, still pretty big. We'll take that down a bit again. And just, just a little notch here, and we're going to put a little. Yeah, we want. We do want this uh, fairly thick for the the tail for the balloon. 
And let's have a look at the at that one. Again, we've got our two characters. Yeah, we can clean up some of the lines there, but uh, that's pretty much what we want. I think I would like to thicken up this girl's hair a bit. Maybe show a shadow here under the arm because it's in shadow with the, the box. Okay. So there you go. So you've got three different types of characters, three different types of situations here. And just, uh, you know, we could, this is a married couple here in this one. So let's, um, let's go ahead and color some of this uh, or these panels. So how, it's, uh, it's a big part of it is, especially with comics, uh, colorization of the Sunday comics was the big thing when I was a kid. And, uh, now, the way newspapers uh, print, um, most of them are in full color. So you are able to um, add color quite easily, especially with Procreate. You just need to add a new layer here. So let's add a layer here underneath. the, And I uh, put the new layer underneath the black line layer. Okay. So what we can do here is... Uh, the background can be a nice subtle color. We can uh, use our studio pen again and fill that in, in our background. And you'll notice that you can do it around the faces here and uh, fill them in and you don't have to go all the way through it, but, uh, oh, I, and you know that I did, that should be under the, no, that's, that's right. I should have had it underneath the, the, border but that's okay we'll uh we can sort of erase that later and you can take it right up here too in this area you can make it as close or you can make it just uh you know some spot color here in the background but uh It actually looks kind of nice when it's a little, little scratchy like that too. It actually gives it a nice effect, gives it kind of a quick, boy, I'm really quickly drawing this effect too. And then of course our, our character's skin tone. Uh, you can give them a, a nice flesh tone here in their faces. Uh, you can make them any flesh color you like. Um, you can fill in the whole face, which is really wonderful. It's great that you can do that in in uh, from behind with uh, Procreate. He's got a short sleeve shirt there. Same with uh, Mrs. Holiday here. There we can get some. Nice Christmassy, Christmassy type colors in the gift here that they're giving. Isn't that so nice of Mrs. Holiday to just think of her husband this way and giving him a gift? And he looks quite perplexed, like, oh, wonder what she's giving me. I'm quite surprised. It's a nice red in there, and you can... Uh, Let's see, red or blue would be a nice color to add to that. Let's make it a nice, uh, I could think of all kinds of colors you could put there. Let's make it kind of a turquoise blue. If I go to one of the uh, palettes here and make, make that bow a nice turquoise blue. And uh, she could have, he has ver his hair already colored, colored in. We could give her some nice uh, reddish hair here. Yeah, so much fun you can have with making the colors. And the teeth would be white, of course, and uh, the 
Her dress would be, ooh, let's give her a nice bright gold dress here. It's Christmas time, she's wearing something festive, right? So, and he's wearing a white shirt, of course, because it's Christmas time and he's, I get the sense that Mr. Uh, Mr. Holiday would be quite, quite serious and quite, uh, probably like, uh, like George Burns would be in, in a George and Gracie, if it was if that was a cartoon, and we can if we want to we can take this uh, eraser tool and just kind of erase the what we filled in over the the outline the uh, border outline here. If you want to, if you don't want to, I don't think it makes a big difference. You can tell what's going on anyway in the in the panel here, so it's not not a deal breaker at all. Uh, but if you want to, you can certainly do that. Or you could uh, draw the borders in a way. You could use this as a template, redraw the border as a uh, as a new border too. That's uh, that's certainly a possibility too for for it. Okay, let's take our aliens here. So you'd, <laughs> the aliens named Holiday are going to be uh, opening the gift here. So I would say a very pale pale skin, maybe almost greenish. So that, this will be quite a unique uh, quite a unique color here. We're going to, uh, let's try this with a unique color here. We'll take this color and we'll just lighten that up. Yeah, we'll really lighten this up. Almost a green. This will, this will be fun. I've never, never seen a creature uh, like this, and I don't, I don't think too many of us have. Uh, I hope not, anyway. But if, if so... Uh, if not, uh, we're creating it for our comic, right? So this is uh, whether we've seen one or not, we're seeing one now in the comic. So have, and again, we'll just kind of take our eraser tool and uh, race around the, around the outside here now what, what kind of color would they have a, as a background it might be a nice kind of a maybe a purple or something I, I i really don't know what would be a good background but we're going to try that and we might even just do something different like just have it Maybe not have the color come right down to them. Just kind of go around them as a, like they're glowing. That's uh, something I thought that would be neat to have a cartoon where you, uh, your, your main characters were glowing or how would you show that? They're, uh, they glow in the dark or they're, um, So that's something that's always intrigued me. I, I remember some of the ways I've seen it done in comics, and I, some of them were successful, some of them weren't. But it always made me think, you know, how would you show that? If, if you know, how imagine if that was an everyday thing, that that a creature glowed in the dark or some object glowed in the dark. Uh, you know, what would be the the main aspects of that particular thing you would do? What kind of gifts would they? What kind of wrapping paper would they have? Too, we could make some nice. Fancy wrapping paper here, too. Yeah, let's uh, let's make it really magenta, kind of a <laughs> really. Because uh, it would be probably unique to to another space person than to uh, an Earthling. And maybe you're a color that would kind of clash with it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, let's put an orange in here. The color of Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Holiday's uh, hair from the previous panel. That's fun. And, uh, and what kind of heart, what kind of color of heart would they have? Would it be like a green blood would they have? Let, let's 
have fun with that. This could be interesting too. It kind of gets you thinking. What kind of uh, what kind of heart would they have? So, so I put a little green in the heart here. And uh, so there you go. It's a, the same gag, but we've got a totally different color look to it and a different feel to it too. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. And of course, you can tighten up on the on the coloring too, but that's your basic idea. And you can do shadows too. Let's take that green, for example, and we can make it into a uh, airbrushing. Let's take our soft brush here. So we'll kind of take down our opaqueness, take up our size here, and we can shade that in a bit. Especially in the back of the heads, that would be fun. And maybe the bottom of the faces. Yeah, that gives a little bit of dimension too. It makes it a little bit of fun for the reader. Okay, so we have our two young girls here in our final panel here. And I think I did accidentally do a little bit of uh, coloring in here with the alien drawing here. So they'd be probably bright, cheery colors for these young girls who are opening up their... One girl's opening up the gift from their, her sister. And let's go back to our uh, our inking tool here. That's the studio pen. And uh, we will tighten that up a bit here. Give her some nice blonde, uh, blonde locks here. Fill that space in. And we'll give her some nice light colored skin tone and it could be any skin tone you want I just have a something at the ready that I just throw throw in there when I'm ready to, to put it on okay so we can and we may as well while we're here do all the sisters uh, skin coloring as well okay and uh her neck and of course her hands and her, she's the one delivering the punchline so she's you know she's very she's ex using her hand to uh, drive home the expression a bit and uh, again we'll use the eraser here and we'll just erase the overlay here now the clothes what kind of clothes would they wear well we could have them wear um nice purple dress here Magenta, if you will, and uh, and maybe we could put a nice uh, finer line up a bit there. We could put a nice uh, pattern in it, like a nice uh, check or a line here. And that gives your comic a good, a nice feel too, to have a some pattern in it like that. And this one could be a nice, uh, well, let's make it a nice purple here for this girl's dress. We're going to increase that and give it a little bit of width. And I think to, to quicken it up, you can thicken your uh, size. Your brush size and then when it comes to the end here you can take it down a little and you can be more careful as you're at the edges there there we go and uh, so there we have the two girls and for her hair let's make her hair a nice brown like a reddish brown that would be I think that would be a lovely little touch here one is blonde one is kind of a reddish brown and you can imagine what differences these sisters might have and you know their unique characters you know what what would have gone on for to create this punchline here and uh, just to be different um i'm going to just make the box kind of a oh kind of a open like a cardboard color let's try this color Of course, all the wrapping paper's off now, and uh, the, the box would have a typical cardboardy color to it. And we'll just fill it in. 
this is something I always liked to do when I was doing, um, oh, I used to like to use a marker and put it over my uh, ink drawings. It was a lot of fun. When you see your comics in color, it uh, it somehow brings it to life. It, uh, you, I'm telling you, if if you did it black and white for many years and you're suddenly suddenly able to do it in color, it uh, really is quite a, a nice thing to be able to do that. And just because this is at the bottom, I'm going to put a little shadow on this and just to give a little little dimension here. I just uh, I'm just in that kind of mood today. There we go. And we just fill that in. And uh, I think just to be different here, my uh, goal will be to fill in the balloons and make the, let's see, let's make this a nice, let's see, uh, let's make it a nice light blue balloon for this girl. Kind of a robin's egg blue here. Just because. Now we've got to build, created ourselves a bit of a problem there, but we can create it, uh, fix it later by uh, moving that um, the text above the the line here. We'll just fill that in. We'll do the two balloons here and then fill them in and then we'll bring them to the top. But the good thing about layers is that you can do that. You can uh, create, create as you want to, and then you can well, we didn't want to do that much here. Let's just we want to get this little bit out of here. Okay, so we'll do that with this other one as well. We'll make this the yellow, the nice bright yellow. Didn't really want to do it that thick, but anyway, we it is what it is, right? So we have... Uh, oh, and we lucked out here. This uh, These words are above the line here, so we'll, let's take that. Oh, yeah, then we can do that, too. We can take the line down here and hold it, and it'll actually straighten out for us. And as we uh, are filling it in, we can just take the thickness tool and increase it and, and fill in our space here. And you can see the... Uh, okay, you can see the cleanness here. Now, let's get that other text box here. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing, there's nothing. Uh, let's move that box here. There's nothing <laughs> in here but air. So that can add to your comic too, doing the coloring on the, um, the coloring part of it on the, um, on the, the board balloons as well. And if you wanted to, you could actually put some gray or something here in the, bottom part of it. I think that would be fun too, to just um, kind of a little and uh It gives it a little bit of a um, dramatic effect, I think, too, if you did something like that. I don't know. It, it, it depends on your style. It depends on what you, what your, a lot of artists have, have kind of a preconceived visual style that they want to do and the way they want to present something. But th that could be fun to do this, something like that. A little something extra for the reader to look at. And that's never a bad thing, as long as it's not... Again, rule number one: don't um, don't complicate your gag. Don't complicate things so that your uh, the reader doesn't get the joke. That's your only rule, really, as far as your comics uh, are concerned. 
See, that that can add a nice effect. It kind of builds a bridge between the two characters as well and uh, gives them a nice feel. So, you know, oh, I think I need to bring, <laughs> bring the one text window here too. There we go. And that, uh, that builds that gag as well. So there you go. We got uh, Home for the Holidays. It could be uh, this married couple here or or just a, it could be an older brother and sister that aren't married. <laughs> could be um, this could be a girl and her father. Or this could be a, a, you know, a man and his mother, <laughs> his elderly mother. You, you don't know. You could change the hair here in these characters to be something else. You could add a mustache. It could be anything you wanted. Anyway, in this case, I will say this is a, a married couple. Um, you know, probably been married for a few years, maybe have a few kids, and I got you a gift. Happy holidays. And these could be your regular recurring characters, or it could be the this could be the one-time gag that they, they appear in. In our second panel, we have um, our alien, or our the aliens named the hall of the holidays and they're uh, giving one's giving a gift or uh, the concept could be uh, they're living on earth and they're trying to adapt to earth traditions and earth life and whatever. Um, it could be fun. <laughs> it may not be. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention about this one was the, uh, the Mel Lazarus inspiration. Um, Mel Lazarus who did mama and uh, Miss Peach. Miss Peach was a teacher and uh, they were all like heads like these people had and big nose and they had the, the eyes on the one side of the face, which was really interesting to look at. But uh, as I said, poor Mel Lazarus had a long time before that, uh, that he could catch on, but he worked hard at it and and now he's a household name, basically. And then uh, in our third panel, we have our two sisters and uh, the one with the nice pattern on her dress and and if we wanted to we could even do something with the sister's pattern on her dress too we could give it a take this light blue here and uh take this this down we could do something similar so they could be different in a lot of ways but they could be similar in that they have this pattern on their dresses you know this kind of this check pattern we could take it that far and it's really neat how when you do layer on layer that you see it and it doesn't cross the lines that's because it's underneath the your outline there and there you go so and basically we've told one gag with several different different features here and uh, uh you could you could take it again and again you'd, you'd hopefully uh, be able to create um more gags i mean i i think for any of these you could build lots of holiday gags and, and keep doing them. It would be a fun thing to do over the, over the Christmas holidays, over your, um, oh, even over summer holidays too. If you, if you wanted to, there's no, no end to the, uh, the things you could do um, designing the comics. I, I hope that uh, was helpful today. I, I hope you do have an idea of doing a, co a holiday comic strip. I hope uh, also that I helped you, um, kind of build a bridge to to get to something like that and get to their get there quickly and, and have fun on the way so um i'm going to say thank you for joining me today and i'd like to be able to turn it back to tom perfect thanks jeff yeah really great to uh you know get the whole experience and uh see you know what's possible and 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 the multiple uh avenues of uh of uh the gags and and where the stories can take us so yeah thank you for sharing uh that with us and uh saw a lot of feedback here so i'm just gonna put uh uh an email up too so if you guys have any questions a lot of questions about apps and things uh you can email me uh tom at tbmcs.ca so feel free to send me that if there's any tech questions on that and um yeah and then on on this note too i just want to uh let everyone know that uh, we're going to continue uh sessions um in the in january uh jeff will uh will be posting some uh some more sessions up so online and then there will be some in-person sessions so we're going to have the adventures in digital arts for all our members of the libraries uh you can come and join us uh, blue mountains public library collingwood public library Saga Beach Public Library, be able to uh, to see some of these uh, 
uh, to come in person, and we'll we'll continue this uh, this journey um, in person in January. So um, yeah. So on on that note, um, yeah, I want to just uh, you know thank everyone for joining us, and uh, you know what, in terms of the software again, there's a few questions. So we're we're using this Procreate software, iPad, iPhone apps. And uh, you can check that out. And, and if you want to just try it out, come to the libraries. Uh, we have access to the equipment there as well through the technology loan. So just want to thank all our partners again in making this project happen. Canada Council for the Arts and our library partners. Blue Mountains Public Library, Collingwood Public Library, Wasaga Beach Public Library. And a big thank you to Jeff for taking the time and, uh, and sharing his insight and uh, comic vision and, uh, and humor. Oh, it's always a pleasure to, to have his uh, humor presented to us. So, so keep on um, you know, uh, drawing and writing and, and we'd love to see uh, uh, you back again in, in, uh, in January. So uh, all the best and take care.